Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve an example on functions. There are two functions given f of x and g of x and f of x is given as 1 plus 4x and g of x is given as x square. We have to find the value of g of f of 3. Now these kind of functions are called as composite functions because one function is enclosed within another function. Now for these kind of functions we always start with the innermost function and in this case it is f of 3. Now let us start solving for f of 3 by using the given function f of x. So here we can clearly see that in place of x we have 3. So here in the function of f of x wherever we find x we are going to replace it by 3. So it becomes f of 3 is equal to 1 plus 4 times 3. So this is going to give us a value of 1 plus 4 times 3 is 12. And the f of 3 now gives a total value of 13. So now we have got the value of the function f of 3 as 13. But here f of 3 is enclosed within g. So in place of f of 3 we are going to substitute the value of f of 3 which we got as 13. So g of 13 is equal to. Now we have to look at the function g of x. So in place of x since we see that we have 13. So in place of x square we are going to write it as 13 square. So the x is being replaced. So 13 square gives us a value of 169. So we get the total value of the two functions g of f of 3 as 169. Now let us look at the part 2 of this question. Now here the function given is f of g of x. So as we know we have to start with the innermost function. The g of x is enclosed within f of x. And we know that g of x is given as x square. So here in place of g of x, I am just going to replace x square. So here we get x square. Just substituting the value of the function g of x. Now we have to look at the function f of x because we have here f of x square. And that means wherever we have x in the function f of x, we are going to replace it with x square. So we get 1 plus 4 and instead of x we are going to substitute x square. So this is the value of f of g of x. Now let us look at the third part of this question. f inverse of f of x. Now this is the inverse function of the original function. Now we have a property for the inverse of the original function which is given as f inverse of f of x gives you the value of the domain. x is the domain which is the x axis. So here we can see that this is the same property which is repeated over here. So we get just the value of f inverse of f of x as x. Sometimes they may reverse it and give it to you as f of f inverse of x. So in this case as well we get the domain value. So for example, if we have f inverse of f of 8, so simply we are going to write here the value of the domain which is 8. Now let us quickly look at the part B of this question. Find the value of x when the value of f of x is 15. Now this was the function which was given in part A that is f of x equal to 1 plus 4x. Now here they have mentioned that the value of f of x is 15. That means in this equation in place of f of x I am going to substitute 15. So 15 is equal to 1 plus 4x. So this becomes a linear algebra now. So we are going to take 1 over the other side. So we get it as 15 minus 1 is equal to 4x 
और 15 माइनस वन इज 14 इज इक्वल टू फोर एक्स और द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स कैन बी रिटर्न एज 14 ओवर 4 और जस्ट 7 ओवर 2 if you want to write it as a decimal, you can write it as 3.5 as well. I am going to keep it as a fraction. So, it is going to be 7 over 2. I hope you have understood all the steps and like the video. So, if you are liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.